Hello and welcome to the world of recipes. I'm Vaishali and today I'm going to show you one more biryani type. We're going to make egg biryani today. Egg doesn't have flavors of its own but we are going to make it flavorful by adding more spices to it. So let's see the ingredients. For making biryani for four people we need two cups of rice soaked in water at least for half an hour. I have taken eight eggs here one big onion fried, one big onion chopped finely, three to four green chilies, three small tomatoes chopped, some fresh coriander and some mint leaves, ginger garlic paste about one tablespoon. We need some uh, whole garam masala here, uh, cinnamon sticks, then bay leaves, five to six cardamom pods, five to six cloves, some peppercorns, javitri, I have taken javitri and powdered javitri also here, nutmeg, chili powder, one, about one tablespoon, uh, turmeric powder, half tablespoon, uh, coriander powder, one tablespoon, garam masala 1 tablespoon and about 3 tablespoon of salt we need some ghee as per requirement and oil i am using the same oil in which i have fried the onions few strands of uh, saffron soaked in warm milk and this is kevda water for flavoring let's start making biryani now First, we need to boil the rice about 70 to 80 percent in water. I will add salt. I will add about two tablespoons salt because we are going to train out the excess water. Then the salt will be exact for the rice. And we put these cinnamon sticks and bay leaves also for the flavor. We will add around one tablespoon of ghee here so that our rice cooks properly and doesn't stick to each other. Let us wait till water boils and then we will add rice to it. Now this water is hot. I have drained out excess water from this uh, soaked rice. I am going to add this to this water. This rice cooks for about 70%. We will start making our anda masala. Add oil to this pan. I am using same oil. I have fried my onions in this oil. I have added about 2 tablespoons of oil here. We will add this whole garam masala first. Cinnamon sticks, bay leaves, cardamom pods, cloves, peppercorns and this javitri. Let it cook for a minute or so. We will add this ginger and garlic paste. Now this ginger garlic paste is brown. We'll add this onion. We'll cook these onions for one or two minutes till it becomes translucent. Now these onions are cooked. We we'll put with green chilies. Green chilies you can take as per your requirement. If you want it more spicy, you can use more green chilies. Now we'll add this dry masalas, coriander powder, garam masala, chili powder, turmeric, and this chavitri powder. Add this salt. I have added here about one tablespoon of salt. Cook all the dry masalas for half a minute. Then we'll add tomatoes. And we'll add in this mint leaves and coriander leaves as well. Now we have to cook this mixture till this tomatoes become soft. 
Now you can see all the stuff in my piece of different machine. Now it's done. Now I will grind with the nutmeg. Fresh thing is. So that we get fresh flavor of nutmeg in this biryani. I have grated about 1 teaspoon of the corn nutmeg here. And I started getting aroma of nutmeg already. We'll add in one tablespoon of kevda water here. Now we'll add these eggs here. I will just make few holes in the egg so that flavors of all the spices will go inside the egg till the yolk. all the eggs with this uh, mixture properly now we'll add in some water this will help all the flavors to go inside the egg and we need some water for a biryani dam also so i'll add about one cup of water here cover the lid and let it cook for about five to seven minutes now after 5 minutes, this gravy has thickened a little bit and we are getting nice flavor of this kevda here. We have used kevda water here for flavoring because eggs do not have their own flavors. So our biryani will not get any other flavors. So the kevda water will give nice uh, fresh flavor to this biryani. Now we turn off the flame and we will start arranging our biryani. Let's check the rice here. It's about 60-70% done. Now this rice is also 80% cooked. Now hit the vessel for biryani. We'll add little ghee. Then I will arrange one layer of gravy with eggs. I'll put one layer of rice here. This fried onion. Now again, we will put one more layer of eggs and masala. Spread it evenly on rice. Second layer of rice on top. And the second layer of rice we have put. I'm going to add this saffron milk. It's going to give nice flavor to this biryani. little more kevda water we are going to add because this is the main flavor what we are going to get in this egg biryani about one tablespoon more we'll add these onions fried onions again and we are going to add about one tablespoon of ghee here it's going to get nice flavors of ghee as well now we'll close the lid and we'll turn the flame on high for about 1 or 2 minutes. Then we'll lower down the flame and cook the biryani for about 10 minutes more. Now, after 10 minutes, we'll turn off the flame and let the biryani rest for 5 minutes at least. Let's check. Wow. 
the rice has cooked perfectly now let's mix all the flavors together enjoy this yummy egg biryani this yummy biryani is ready enjoy it thanks for watching this recipe for more recipes keep on watching world of recipes thank you